Hello and welcome to TeacherTube. We're excited to announce that we now have annotations for your videos. If you hover over any video on TeacherTube, you'll notice there'll be a tag icon. And these tags, once you click on tag, it will present a moment or object. Now to define what a moment or object is, a moment is actually a moment in the video. For example, in this video, say it's a note video that you're presenting to your students. And you played the video to three, five, uh, say five seconds. So if I roll this back, Hi, Mrs. A, Mrs. Cowles, and today's lesson comes that I want to do on uh, at second number four. You click on uh, tag, uh, and then you click on the moment, and say this is for your students. Uh, you know, students, this this question will be on the test on Friday. And then what you're going to be able to do is you can also put emoji icons, uh, stickers. Uh, Valentine's Day is actually coming out, and you can put those on there. But for this uh, for this example, we're not going to do that. So once you're done with that, you can actually click on the green button, and then you're going to have a Facebook option to share, Twitter to share, um, messages through Facebook, or you can just save it as a bookmark. Now what this will do, it will generate an automated URL. So for instance, if you came back and found this video on TeacherTube, it's actually not going to have the annotations uh, on there. But with a unique URL that you share or save as a bookmark, you can share with others, that will actually have the annotations on there. So it's unique to yourself. It's in that way, even though it may not be a your own TeacherTube video, and it's a great video that you want to present to your students, it's unique to yourself, so you can write your notes and save it and uh, share it with your students. So in this moment, I saved it. I told them that this question will, uh, will be on the test on Friday. So what I'll do is I'm going to tweet it out. Now, what you'll get is a login, and so you'll have to authorize this app. Uh, Clickberry is one of our partners, and so um, they were help design this process and this annotation uh, for what uh, what we wanted to for educators. So what you'll do is you'll just authorize the app, and now uh, it'll actually it'll say tag is being shared, tag is Two textbook being lesson shared, three, five. and you'll actually play. So if I go to our the Twitter account, and I go to my tweets, and so there's the video. So I click on the video, and then you'll notice um, the video will start playing. To define the variables, write an equation, create a table of values, and graph the linear. So if I roll back, um, hi, Matthew. This is Mrs. Cowles, and five, today's lesson comes five from seconds. You'll see it'll stop the video, then it'll say, Students, this question will be on the test on Friday. You can also reshare it to others if you wanted to, your text uh, or you can always go back to that video. But most importantly, hi, Matthew, this, is this link um, is going to be unique. Um, and so what that what that will actually do is that that link is actually yours and so that's a unique link to you uh, for this particular video and so again to show you the example of a moment Hi, the video Mrs. Cowles, and today's lesson comes and through. it'll actually stop and then students this question will be on the test on Friday and then you can click it the off textbook and lesson continue three, to five. Right. so that's an example of a moment now we can go back to the video and let's talk about object. Now object is different. Object is like a URL link. So in this example, uh, we could use the same video for math. And so for math, let's say I have a second note um, or a second video that I want to show that, hey, here's a in more in-depth detailed uh, video that I want to show you. So let's say if it's a second one, uh, just to make it easy. We're going to hit the tag, we're going to hit object, and then what I would do, it's very similar uh, to the moment, but here you can actually put it and place it anywhere, uh, maybe on that question right there. And so what in this example, what I would do is go to your account. It's your uh, uh, teacher2 forward slash my account dot PHP, or you can easily go to uh, click on my account and then go to the, the account, um, your account page or account link. And so what we're going to do is go to uploaded videos and you can see here, here's an example. 
Um, and then I can click on view. I can actually right click and copy the link. Let's go back to the video and actually put that link in there like that. And then I can do the same process and tweet it out. So this way I can share it on Facebook or Twitter, message it or save it to the bookmark. Now here I'm just going to share this on, on Twitter again to make it easy. It's going to, the tag is being shared successfully. Hi Matthew, this is Mrs. To Cowles in today's lesson. The video. And then I go to my Twitter account and we'll see tweets coming out. There's a new tweet. I'll click on it. And here you will actually see the video start playing. To find the variables, we'll write an equation, we'll create stop. a table of values, and graph the linear function. Be sure to label the x. Go to zero, 01, and then it'll actually stop because I stopped it at one second, and there's the link. So now, you know, you can also put notes on there, but here's the link. You can click on the link, and it'll actually take me to the video that I shared that may be in more in depth detail. So, again, that is the new annotations um, on TeacherTube. If you have any questions, feel free to give us an email at webmaster at teachertube.com. We'll actually put some more videos on there and let us know. Shoot us an email and let us know that you guys uh, are using the annotations. Um, we'll definitely feature it in our annotation spot that we're going to be creating. Uh, but we feel that this is a great educational tool uh, that will help not only your students, but your staff and other educational information. If you have any questions again, feel free to give us a, an email at webmaster at teachertube.com. Thanks. Have a great day.